and we are back again guys i'm so happy it's the weekend and guess where we're going the number one hotspot in hua hin cicada market am i pronouncing that right is it cicada or ch chicade we're gonna find out anyway i've looked online people are calling it chicada i'm not sure if it is it looks really nice it doesn't look as authentic as your usual thai night markets right it's more westernized but it still has a bit of authenticity to it i heard that you do need to go in there and pay for tokens so everything is token based in terms of you can't pay cash at these stalls so these are kind of arts and craft stalls apparently this is what i know of or what i've seen and there's another market opposite or next door called tamarind market where people go to eat so what we'll be doing first we're going to go to Chicada Market, if that's how it's pronounced, have a look around, show you guys exactly what is up. That's what we do on this channel. And next, we're going to go after we're going to eat some food. You know what I'm going to do this time? I'm not going to eat the usual boring rice and chicken. I'm going to try something like odd, something that's just like I've never tried before, something that probably looks disgusting, but I'm going to try it anyway. Just why not, okay? So we're gonna head there today. We're gonna drive there. It's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes, I think, or maybe even less. Find the parking space. I hope there's parking. If there is, I'm gonna show you exactly where to park if you're driving, and we're gonna take you inside, and this is gonna be friggin' awesome, guys. I'm gonna see you there. Hey, guys, we are here. We made it. Look how excited she looks. <laughs> no, no, bless her. She's um, struggling a bit today, right? Why? Well, just, you know, pregnant, heavy. Yeah, it's not today, it's just now. Oh, just, okay. Just now, just now. And we have to put up with these pavements. So let me show you the pavement. If you have a baby, you're gonna, you're gonna have to put up with these pavements. Yeah. So, we're heading into the market. We just parked. And we, basically, you, there is official parking here. There's no parking in the Chicada market, but there's parking in the Tamarind market. And it costs 50, uh, but 50 bahts. I'll push the button. Okay. Which is just over? Which is just over about a dollar. So it's pretty cheap. But like me, I measure everything in food. Yeah. So for me, 50 baht, that's a meal. So why would I pay a meal when I can just park down the road? So literally did a U-turn, parked literally like two minutes down the road for free. And there's nothing cheap about that. It's just like, why not? I don't have to park there. So um, we're heading in there now and uh, let's go and have a look. Happy New Year 2024. That looks, that's probably going to look quite cool in, uh, at night time. So here we are at gate two where it's closed. So I took you here basically just to show don't walk this way. <laughs> no, I think the entrance is over there. So let's, yeah, yeah, I can see, yeah, yeah, let's go this way. I'm gonna take, see, guys, I, I take time out of my day to take you on the wrong route so you don't make those mistakes as well. Anyway, it's around five o'clock, and I know this place will probably start kicking off later, but I don't wanna be here too late because of Athena. So we're coming here during the day, and uh, we'll probably come back at night time at some stage, and do another vlog but guys just to let you know this is my first time here so probably for anyone who's watching who wants to come here we'll do some research and we'll see if they want to come here as well I'm gonna give you my live reactions as it stands so beautiful trees with these nice lights hanging probably looks damn cool at night time and there we have some Korean tourists loads of Koreans here love Koreans very very nice people in general um, I love everyone and here you go there is Chicada market I think that's how it's pronounced I'm gonna ask a Thai person today this is a great place for like Instagram you can see people taking videos and photos really could see these people know what they're doing and then we're gonna let Athena walk around oh, oh where are you going wait oh look how happy she is She's, hey come back okay there we go. She's happy. Very good. That's a nice picture. I'm going to take. We should take. Should we take one now? It might not come out at night. What do you reckon? You like that? 
What are you saying? Abo. Abo, Sebo, it's beautiful. Sebo. Just do not fall in there because I don't feel like swimming today. You know, Daddy doesn't like swimming. He likes looking at swimming pools, but not swimming. Let's go. Whee! This way. Come on. Let's show the YouTube fam what they're missing out on. So there's some nice music playing, kind of Western music. And a little, I don't know what that's called, like a amphitheater. So this is very, very different than your usual market, Thai market, because it's very white and clean and almost too clean. But we want to show you every kind of market here in Hua Hin. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful food. Hot pot, beef soup. So the prices are a little bit pricier than your usual street market. I would say anywhere between 50 to 100 more. Run, 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 run. Come this way, come, come, come. Come this way. Come. So, what do you call? Athena. Come. We need to get vouchers. Oh. Yeah. I just want to have a little recce, then we'll get some vouchers and we'll go. Right, so first impressions of this place. It's good, I like it. It's very nice. It's very clean and new and different than your usual markets. But still, sell, still the same food, but it's just a little bit pricier. It hasn't got that grit, that street, that the thickness of the atmosphere that usual Thai markets have. But it's, uh, and loads of Westerners here. No Thais really, it's just complete, yeah, literally just, when I say Westerners, non-Thais. So there's a lot of Scandinavian people here, uh, other Asian countries, I'm talking like China, South Korea. Um, but no real Thai people eating here unless they're married to foreigners. So I guess it's kind of like an expat kind of hangout somewhere secure, safe, clean, easy to use. You just buy your coupons, you come here and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So what we're doing at the moment, oh my God, we're doing a recce. We're going to walk around, see what we like and then we're going to get some coupons and then we're going to buy something to eat and drink. Sarika, one please. One coconut. Uh, juice. One coconut, one coconut juice. Ah um, oh no, smoothie. One smoothie, one smoothie please.
Right, so we just got a coconut smoothie. Tell me, 65 baht that was. So that's not too bad. Good. And there's a, oh, there's my vouchers flying everywhere. So I want to show you these vouchers. Let me show you, let me twist the camera around. So what they do is they give you these vouchers. I've just ripped a couple of them off. They give you in massive strips. You can only buy, sorry, I got chewing gum in my mouth. They, you can only buy 100 bahts worth at a time. So I bought like 400. I'm not sure if they have an expiry date. Yes, they do. Another interesting thing to know, if you weren't aware, they have a different dating system in Thailand. So the day and the month are the same, but the year, they think it's 2565. Let me repeat that again. They think it's the year 2565. They're living like 500 years in the future here. This is madness. So, um, sorry, 2567. See there, 2567, that's the year. So don't get too confused. That basically means 2024. I don't know how they calculated that. It's definitely one for the Wikipedia later on. However, yeah, ho on hold on to these uh, tickets. I'm gonna probably spend all of them today, I guess. I think one meal, if you pay about one or two meals, you're gonna spend about two, 250, and the rest on some drinks, maybe a little side dish, and then we'll finish. I saw some chicken feet that looked quite gross. Um, but interesting at the same time, I did say that I want to eat something a bit different today. So that could be it. So you could see me sucking on some toes. Not the usual toes I suck on, but chicken toes this time. Oh, there's Athena just throwing herself around. So let's see what else we can explore. We're going to sip this drink because Big Mama here has got to sit down and take some time off her feet. And then we're going to get up. It's really big market actually. It's bigger than I thought it would be. So let's take a look around in a bit. <laughs> Who says you need iPhones? You just need a shoe. You just need a shoe and the kid will find... You just need one item and kids will have fun. I've seen kids play with tires, stones, pebbles, but loads of parents seem to throw iPhones and iPads all the time. And I think they should be used sparingly, definitely. They definitely have a place, let's just put it that way. But um, nothing wrong with a bit of fun picking up uh, leaves and stuff.
so I got the this here which is the crispy pork noodles and you got the chicken she didn't want the feet though unfortunately I don't know why no? all right okay yeah sorry about that I don't want anything basically, I just want chicken. Alright, just take all that stuff. Right now. That's fine. Take the egg out then if you don't want it. I'll have the egg, a bit of extra protein for me. I have one. Okay, yeah, keep I it. And uh, give me your first impressions how it tastes. <laughs> Is there supposed to be noodles in there? Oh, that's the noodles. Yeah, they're, 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 they're like these fat sort of. No noodles. The sauce is good though. Yeah? yeah, yeah it's very good. What, what is it spicy? Is it sweet? No, it's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Hard to describe. Yeah, it's hard to describe. Right, let me try mine. I'm going to turn the camera around on myself. Right, guys, so I'm trying this dish for the first time. I've got it down here, you can't see it. Here? Oh! Spicy? Spicy! Oh, okay. No, this is running already. But it tastes amazing. It tastes like that, those clear soups you get here. You get a lot of like clear soups, which is like um, almost water based, but it has like a stock, like a chicken stock or fish stock or shrimp stock or beef stock. And this one is um, it's like one of those, quite dark in color. Got the crispy pork here. Got that crisp on the outside, nice and tender on the inside. You can taste the pork there. And they've got these kind of pasta noodles, like these fat things here. They're good. They're good. It tastes, it doesn't taste like pasta, but it feels like pasta. I think it's that, it's either kelp or konjac noodles, like those diet noodles. I don't know. Either way, it's really good. so tasty and flavoursome. This is going to scare me. That. I don't know what, actually I do I know what it is. <laughs> I asked Still. him and he said this was congealed blood. Chicken. Of the chicken, I think. Chicken. It's not chocolate brownie. It's not like a, a, a jello. This is blood. I'm gonna try it. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to take a bigger bite. <laughs> Jelly texture. Oh. It tastes kind of bloody? In, yeah, like um organy. Oh my God. Like organs, like we've all been at, if you're from England and you've had, you had kind of gone to school in the 90s, you would have, they would give you liver and just liver and something like liver and chips, dry, had been like overcooked, like in this yellowy oil. I remember the school dinner ladies used to serve every Wednesday back in primary school. It's like, this is like an upscaled version of that. So it has a jelly. T I'm actually gonna have another bite again. I'll show you how squidgy it is. See how squidgy that is. Oh my god! It's not so bad. It's just the fact that I'm eating can um insides. I think I'm just gonna keep that in the sauce. I'm not gonna eat that. At least I tried it. It doesn't taste that bad. You know when something is in, stuck in your head like this was like a vital organ of the animal. It's weird how we can eat all other parts of the animal but when it comes to the organs we're disgusted as Westerners and this is perfectly normal to every other culture pretty much. Anyway, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Maybe that was the black one and this is a white one. Maybe we're eating different like um, different races. <laughs> So this is the white chicken. I just ate a black chicken. So this is the white chicken. I don't know what it is. It's got a crispy... Oh, it might be tofu actually. Yeah, it looks like mm. tofu. Ah, oh, that's tofu. To be honest, the tofu is worse than the brown stuff. 
You know tofu has like a cardboardy taste? That's what it tastes like. Not, not, wait, excuse me. Not my favorite tofu. Vegetarians, vegans, sorry, this is just gross. And there's quite, a, there's about three chunks of tofu in there. And I've got my egg. That's normal, normal people food. Because I give you mine. Okay. It's good. It's very eggy. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna sit here and eat this. You don't wanna watch me eating. I'm gonna devour this. I'm gonna get some more. Um, I've got some more vouchers left to kill. I'm probably gonna get one or two drinks. I'll show you them later on. But for now, stay tuned. Comment and subscribe if you've been here before. And let us know if you liked it or not. And let me eat this. How is it, Athena? Nice. Look at that. This baby will eat everything that we eat herself. Um. Oh, got the hiccups now. Good girl. So that is it guys, we have finished in the market, I'm not sure what time it is but it looks like we've been here a long time but we really haven't, the sun just went down, we had a great time, I'm going to sip on my coconut smoothie here, 65 baht just in case you happen to give a F and yeah we had a great time, is it a market you should go to? Hell yeah, definitely go to this market, it's completely different than your usual time markets. I would say it's more of an upscale Thai market, so it's got feelings of the Thai market, but it hasn't got that the steam, the essence, the the griminess, the dirtiness. Even though it's not dirty, but you know that street feel like Thai markets have. But sometimes, if you live here, you kind of get sick of that. You want a bit of you know Western food, or you want that kind of peace of mind, or you want a wider pavement, or you want just to sit down in comfort without being squeezed by hundreds of different people. In the market so definitely this is a place to come try it out I've given you a few hints and tips how to get here how to save money yes it's not the cheapest place in the world but you're not gonna lose sleep over the extra few bar that you're paying for stuff so guys thank you for watching keep tuning into all these videos I'm gonna be hitting up as many spots in Hua Hin as possible to bring you guys more content thank you for watching comment subscribe because we all know that Athena needs that damn college tuition fund see you later